Hey everybody, how are you today? Hope all is well. God is glorious. The Lord is wonderful in all that he is doing in the earth, in the middle of everything that's going on. The Lord is working. His power, his presence is flowing. His anointing is pouring forth. And the enemy cannot prevail. You can't even uh, compare the enemy to the Creator, Almighty God. Well, blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord for His might and His glory and His power and His word, grace and truth. What He did at the cross is many, many angels that are with us. And all that he has given us to walk in by his spirit. For his plans will prevail. The will of the Lord is in his hand of might being worked in the earth. The will of God. Those who do the will of God abide forever. As I was in prayer this morning. With Holy Spirit meditating the word. God was giving me Psalm 84 about how we need to stay focused on Him, stay focused on His glory, stay focused with Him in His presence. We need to abide in His presence because the atmosphere around us and the things in the world that are being released in conflict against God and against His love and His light, grace and truth can be very negative but if we are abiding in his presence and walking with the Lord God like Adam and Eve did in the garden, like Jesus giving the example when he was on the earth in human form, Psalm 84 should be the cry of our hearts and it needs to be the cry of America once again. So let's read in Psalm 84 starting in verse 1. How lovely is your tabernacle O Lord of hosts, my soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. So he's saying here, the sons of Korah wrote this psalm. How lovely is your tabernacle. The tabernacle represents the place of encounter with God, like the tabernacle of David. And... Now in the New Testament, through Jesus, we are the temple of God. And all those things in the Old Testament were types and shadows of our life with Christ in the New Covenant, in the Spirit. But the tabernacle is both in the Spirit and the natural. It's the place of encounter with the Lord, place of encounter with His presence, place of encounter with His glory, His anointing. You know, being in that tabernacle with him a tabernacle is like a tent or a place that's built that causes you to just focus on the Lord you to be private with the Lord personal with the Lord it's a designated place for you to be with God and God to be with you and in our heart is a habitation a tabernacle with the Lord how lovely is your tab tabernacle O Lord of hosts my soul longs yes even faints for the courts of the Lord my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God is that the cry of our hearts today is that the cry of your heart today is your soul longing and fainting for the Lord for the courts of the Lord just to be in the courts with him just to be near him going toward him and into his presence your heart and flesh crying out for the living God. This is what we need in this day and time. This is why we are on the earth, is to dwell in the courts of the Lord and our hearts and our flesh crying out for the living God. It's time to get hungry. It's time to get thirsty for the living God. Hallelujah. We're the ones who are pouring out the oil 
We're the ones to carry fresh anointing. We're the ones to give a fresh word with his presence on it and his glory on it. The only way to do that is to fall in love with the Lord and be with him and be in his presence and be in his glory and be in uh, the tabernacle with him. Verse 3 says, Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. Hallelujah. The sparrow has a home. The swallow has a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts. The altars of the Lord need to be rebuilt in the land. Some new ones are being built, but some that were built and have faltered or have been removed need to be rebuilt. We need to be like this sparrow who has a home and swallow her nest. The altar of the Lord needs to be our home and our nesting place. Oh, thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is drawing us in to be with Him. Holy Spirit is drawing us closer, drawing us nearer, drawing us to that place with Him. Thank you, Lord. And then, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. When you dwell in the house of the Lord, he will keep your fire lit on the inside. You will still be praising God. You'll be praising God like you always praise God from the day that you received the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart as your Savior and as you began to journey with Him and then throughout life praising Him freely from your heart and also giving Him the sacrifice of praise. When times are rough, when times are hard, and then when times are good and blessed. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the man is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. Wow. As they passed through the valley of Baca, they made it a spring. The rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God. This is a powerful three verses talking about our strength lies in God and then that we are on a journey of pilgrimage because it's saying here you're blessed if your heart is set on pilgrimage. Pilgrimage, going into this world to be separated unto God, to go on a journey with the Lord in pilgrimage, not knowing where you're going but going by faith going by trust, going out just to build a life with him. And then it mentions here the Valley of Baca. You know, when the children of Israel were passing through the Valley of Baca, it was a hard time. And they were in the wilderness, and they were coming through this valley. And it says they make it a spring. The rain also covers it with pools. God rained down uh, water into bore out places in rocks, in the hills of the rocks, there were, it was like bowls that filled up with water and it became like springs, it became uh, pools of water that they could drink from and that they could continue on their journey. God gives us what we need on our journey. He gives us everything to provide as we walk out pilgrimage with Him. And it says in verse 7, they go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. The Lord's strength never runs out. He, he never gets weary. Hallelujah. And those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. It says here uh, that they go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Each one appears before God in Zion. We are all in Zion belonging to Jesus and we are all uh, in the city of Zion, the city of God in the spirit, and we appear before God in Zion. 
that true relationship, that true fellowship, that place of encounter, that tabernacle with him. O oh Lord God of hosts, verse 8, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. O oh God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. Boy, if there ever was a time, even in this country we are living in, that we need God as our shield and to look upon the face of his anointed, his anointed ones. You know, the word of God says, do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed. And there's a lot of people touching God's anointed right now. And there, there's people doing God's prophets harm. And they are mocking God and disrespecting the Lord. But God looks upon his anointed he gives us strength to strength we continue on our pilgrimage we faint we faint for the courts of the Lord in the midst of hell children of Israel always went through situations they went through bondages they went through captivities they went through attacks and assaults from other peoples and nations they went through uh, experiences where they even walked into judgment themselves that all the times and seasons that they went through God was still with them and working on them God was still bring them through God will still restore them God still longed to be with them word of God says that God is married to the backslider hallelujah he doesn't forsake his bride he is good he is merciful he is kind he's always working to restore our relationship with him that connection of uh, encounter and intimacy with him in the tabernacle with him and he says that uh, verse 10 for a day in your courts is better than a thousand I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness that's the place we got to live in and be in. That's the place we got to desire, being a doorkeeper in the house of God, than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. And one just one day in his courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. That's how we need to value God. We need to value being in the courts with him, in the tabernacle with him. We need to value who he is and his presence and exalt him above all else. For the Lord God is a sun and shield, and the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Those of us walking with him uprightly, loving him, revering him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We love the Lord. We want to bear fruit for him and uh, please him and walk in obedience and develop the success of those things in our life with him. We don't want to so to destruction and so so to the flesh or give the enemy any ground it says that god is a sun and shield and he gives grace and glory that's a word for somebody watching right now god gives grace and glory he's given you grace and glory right now to get through what the enemy's been trying to steal in your relationship with god in your encounter with God, in, in the tabernacle with God. The enemy's been after that. But God is your son and your shield, and he gives grace and glory. And no good thing, this is a word for all of us, children of God in this country and the world, that no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly devil can't stop that blessing that this is something that God has instituted this is who he is O Lord of hosts blessed is the man who trusts in you we are blessed people trusting in God praise the Lord Jesus has given us power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us the devil is a liar he is defeated principalities and powers have been disarmed and God has blessed us we are walking in the covenant he gave to Abraham 
blessing, I will bless you, he told Abraham. Blessing, I will bless you. We are blessed through Yeshua, Jesus, who came in that lineage, went to the cross. Abraham, father of faith, we are children of Abraham in the spirit by, because we are uh, walking in faith. The just shall live by faith. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus came to fulfill the law, and he came to fulfill atonement at the cross and give us access into the Holy of Holies, access into the presence of God, access into what God has always longed for his people to live and abide in. So let us draw near to God. Let our souls long uh, for the courts of the Lord. Let our hearts cry out for the living God today. Be revived, be restored, and be renewed by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. God bless you today.